Sahanavavatu Sahanao Punaktu Sahaviriam Karavavahai Tejasvi Navadhi Tamas Tuma Vidveshavahai Om Shante 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 Samasta Janakalyane Niratam Karunamayam Namami Chinmayam Devam Satkurum Brahm Havidvaram. So today, or this week rather, we have reflections from our Chinmaya Yuva Kendra on those very same words, Om Trem Bakam Yajamahe, which we have taken up. They will now reflect upon them. So today we have with us Sri Gant. So Shrikant will be speaking. Okay. Hari Om. So today I'll be reflecting on the the second word in the mantra, Trayambakam. Yesterday we heard from Akash on Om. And so uh, we'll follow the Trayambakam. So Thirambakam means uh, the one who has three eyes. And so Lord Shiva has you know, his third eye. And so I'll start by telling the story of how Lord Shiva got his third eye. So uh, once upon a time, uh, Lord Shiva was uh, on Mount Kailash and he was meditating. And so and he was deep in meditation and so he had his eyes seemingly closed, but he was just deeply, deeply meditating. And Mother Parvati was in a playful mood. And she came up behind him and just covered his eyes uh, while he was meditating. Now, Lord Shiva didn't come out of his meditation. But when Mother Parvati covered his eyes, the entire world was plunged into darkness. The, and the, there was no sun, there was no anything, and no one could see. And it started becoming chaotic, you know, in the dark, that's when all the bad things start to happen. And so um, in the world, everyone was experiencing so much chaos and so much, you know, misfortune that they, they, they prayed, oh, Lord Shiva, please save us from this darkness. Please save us from this darkness. And so uh, in his state of meditation, Lord Shiva uh, manifests this third eye and this third eye opens and then a divine light comes and uh, uh, is able to light up the entire world. And then Mother Parvati re recognizes her, her um, mistake and then removes her, her hands from covering Lord Shiva's face. And then, uh, then the regular order is returned. And, and so this third eye of Lord Shiva is manifested to save the world with this divine light. And, so, you know, from this, you know, we can see so much symbolism and so much um, meaning in, you know, this, this third eye and what, how much power it has. And obviously we all have two eyes and Lord Shiva, his first two eyes are, you know, we learned from Shivaniji uh, last week or two weeks ago the, about, uh, about the, 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 that Lord Shiva is the, um, Karma Paladata. And, and so those first two eyes represent that compassionate love and tough love that Lord Shiva gives. That, you know, if you do something, you're going to get the results of that, whether it's good or whether it's bad, it's the results that are coming. And so Lord Shiva will give you those results, whether through tough love or, you know, through his kripa, the compassionate love. But this third eye, you know, is, you know, has, is more deeper. And if we remember also from what Shivaniji had taught us during the Gayatri Japa, then the Gayatri Mantra, we, you know, we pray that let this, the light of the sun illumine our intellect. In the same way, the light of this third eye, it will illumine, you know, is the, the illumination of our intellect. It's this, it's this depth of, uh, it's, it's a depth of, of, of beyond that, it's this pure awareness. Yesterday, Akash was talking about Om and that Om, there's you know, three sounds, but there's really four, 
four things. There's the waking state, uh, dream state, deep sleep state, but there's also that fourth state, the thriya, that is underlying those three states. That is what allows those three states to rise and to fall. And in the same way, this third eye represents the pure awareness that, uh, the, that pure awareness, that pure, uh, that uh, and livens the entire universe in which that which then allows Lord Shiva to give the results of that karma, that allows us to act, uh, to have our thoughts, our words, and our deeds, to have the actions that result in Lord Shiva giving us, you know, what are the results of our karmas and also his kripa to, to uh, bring us up. So this, this idea of, uh, you know, pure awareness is, you know, comes also we see in the meaning of Satchitananda. And so like this idea of what is, you know, the pure, you know, our understanding of God, our understanding of, of Bhagavan. So when we say Trayambakam, you know, that when we're praying with this mantra and we're praying to Lord Shiva, we are, you know, are summoning within ourselves, are, are focusing on that higher, the highest ideal of that Satchitananda, because we are re remembering this three eyes of Lord Shiva, the first two eyes that represent Lord Shiva as Ishara, as the, the controller of our, of our world, who, uh, you know, when we do our actions, he will give us uh, the results that we deserve. And so we want to divinize our actions and to improve our actions so that uh, he gives the Kripa to then, uh, uh, so that the results we get are better and so that we can improve and that we can even more clearly see that uh, the, what that third eye symbolizes, that pure awareness, that what's behind e even that uh, control of our transactional world, that what, what is that principle that fully enlivens us. So, that, so that's why uh, this Trayambakam refers to the Lord Shiva as Ishra and Lord Shiva as a pure awareness. So that's all I have uh, didn't take as long as I thought I would. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Thank you, Shrika. So that is Trem Bakam. Mm -hmm. to that Lord Shiva, who's actually Om, and then who we see as Trem. So today, when we spend some time in silence, we can contemplate on Lord Shiva's third eye. Mm -hmm. 